tonight on Size Eyes on the Skies. Looking at our current conditions at Ames tonight, we have 47 degrees with clear skies. Uh, winds coming out of the east southeast at 11 miles an hour. Uh, feels like 42 tonight with that wind. So um, dew point at 37 degrees and the pressure is 30.06. Looking at our temperatures right now across the state, it's a little warm in Sioux City, Iowa, 50 degrees there. But as we move to the eastern part of the state, central Iowa, we got 46 and 48. Uh, in Ames and Des Moines respectively, and then as we get to the eastern part of the state, we have 40 in Davenport and 41 in Dubuque. Plus, Braden has your national forecast. All that and more on this Tuesday, November 12th edition of Size Eyes on the Skies starts now. Broadcasting live from the studios at Iowa State University, the Iowa State Meteorology Department brings you the latest weather from across the country and out your front door. This is Size Eyes on the Skies. Good evening, I'm your host Aubrey Schneider and we will begin with tonight's weather story. On this day in 2005, a late season tornado outbreak swept across the Midwest with a total of 14 confirmed tornadoes including 12 in Iowa. In Story County, a tornado triggered sirens just before an Iowa State football game against Colorado, leading to the evacuation of Jack Trice Stadium. The EF2 tornado was visible from the stadium, missing it by just five miles. That November was one of the most active months for tornadoes across the United States that year. And now, to discuss more with what's happening around the country, here's Braden with your national forecast. Looking at our headlines this week, we've got rainfall continuing to fall in the Pacific Northwest. We've got snow up in the Rockies, and we've got mild drought conditions across most of the United States. It only takes a careless moment to turn this into this. Don't let forest fires be your fault. Make sure your fire is dead out. Remember, only you can prevent forest fires. Welcome back. Now let's go to the national forecast with Braden. So Braden, how's it looking across the country right now? Well, it's looking pretty calm, not much going on. As we look further into this, we've got temperatures in about the 30s to 40s up in the northeast, going down towards the southeast, 60s, 72, 80s. Real great time to be down there, if you ask me. Real warm. Uh, over here to the southwest, 74 in Phoenix, 50 in Santa Fe, 60s and 70s in Dallas and San Antonio, respectively. Uh, coming over here to the west, we got 50 in Seattle, 48 Boise, 57 San Francisco, uh, 40 Denver, 39 Billings. It's cooling off towards the north. Um, this week, we're going to see a lot of cold air come in, Arctic air coming in from uh, Canada, coming down. Temperatures should drop over the next several days across the country, mostly in the north. Uh, looking at satellite, not much going on right now. Over here, we've got a bunch of rainfall over in the Pacific Northwest. It's always raining over here. We've got this weird line coming through. It's bringing snow with it over Wyoming and Denver in the Rockies. Down here in the uh, Gulf area, we're seeing some remnants of some tropical activities. And a bit of uh, rain and snow have come off uh, the coast of Maine. Looking at our drought conditions, we've still got this bad drought down here in El Paso. Montana and... Uh, Wyoming, eastern Wyoming are still looking for rain. Uh, Appalachia, after its big hurricane season, it shouldn't have had. We've got tons of drought going here and we need a little more rain. Looking at severe weather, we don't have much going on, just a marginal threat in the panhandle of Oklahoma and North Texas. Uh, this week we're looking at Osage Beach. We've got temperatures from 61 to 40, 59, 64 through Friday, coming to the weekend, 65, 60 with lows in the 40s and 50s. As we continue through the week, we're going to look at 63 Monday, 59 on Tuesdays with lows in the low to upper 40s. 
It's time for our trivia question this evening. What was the coldest temperature ever recorded on Earth? Was it A, negative 115.7 degrees Fahrenheit, B, negative 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit, C, negative 120.4 degrees Fahrenheit, or D, negative 123.9 degrees Fahrenheit? We'll have that answer for you at the end of our show. Plus, we'll have your Iowa weather after the break. Welcome back. Let's take a look at your Iowa weather with Grant. So Grant, how's it looking outside right now? Well, it's starting to get colder finally after a pretty warm autumn. Uh, taking a look here, in Ames we currently have 47 degrees with winds coming out of the east, southeast, 11 miles an hour. Uh, temperatures across the state, we got uh, mid to high 40s in the, in the western part of the state and as we move to the eastern part of the state, we start seeing those high 30s, low 40s as we move east. Dew points across the state pretty even uh, overall. Um, mid to high 30s across the state. Uh, looking at our sky cast tonight, we're partly cloudy, 38 degrees, with winds uh, five miles an hour from the east. Uh, beautiful night, uh, grab a coat, go for a walk, even though it is a little chilly. Uh, coat and gloves should fix that. All right, looking at our lows for tonight. Um, Mid to low 40s uh, in the western part of the state over there by Sioux City and Council Bluffs, Iowa. And as we move to mid-Iowa here in Ames and Des Moines, around 38, 40 degrees, and moving west in the state, down Dubuque, Davenport, 36 and 38, respectively. Looking at our future temperatures, uh, tomorrow morning, 8.30 a.m., we're looking at about the same temperatures as we saw tonight, uh, mid to high 40s as we, in the western part of the state, and moving east, those temperatures tend to get lower in the mid to high 30s. And then Wednesday afternoon, we see those temperatures don't really change much, uh, mid to high 40s across pretty much the entire state. And as we move into Thursday morning around 7.30, those temperatures again stay constant, those mid to, to low 40s. Looking at our drought conditions, they have gotten a bit more stable in the central area of the state towards Des Moines and Creston area. But in the northwestern portion of the state near Sioux City and Spencer, we are still seeing those severe conditions in Iowa. Looking at our game day forecast, kickoff is 7 p.m. Ready to see those Cyclones win this weekend, I hope. Uh, tailgating temperatures, beautiful, 59 degrees. Grab a jacket, it's pretty much all you're gonna need for this weekend. And then for your shindig activities after the game, it's going to be around the mid 40s at 44 degrees. So it's going to be a beautiful night for some activities to be done. Looking at the week ahead, we have uh, high 40s to low 50s uh, Wednesday, Thursday. Moving into Friday, we get a pretty big heat jump uh, to the mid to high 50s. And then as we move through the weekend uh, towards Sunday, Monday, those temperatures tend to cool down again. And as we get into Tuesday, we will hit those 40s again. Thank you, Grant, for that forecast. Now let's review tonight's trivia question. What was the coldest temperature ever recorded on Earth? Was it A, negative 115.7 degrees, B, negative 128.6 degrees, C, negative 120.4 degrees, or D, negative 123.9 degrees? What do you guys think? Well, I get cold if it gets below 32 degrees, and I can't imagine negative 128, so I'm going to have to go with the warmest temperature at negative 115.7. Well, I was the kid who always wore shorts in school and didn't have a problem with it, but something about 124 sounds right to me, so I'm locking in it with C. Okay, I'm going to go with D then, with negative 123. And the answer was B, negative 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit. This was recorded in Volstock Station in Antarctica on July 21st, 1983. What do you guys think about that? Too cold for me, too cold for me, that's for sure. I might put pants on for that. <laughs> that concludes tonight's show. Please be sure to follow us on Twitter and you can find all of our shows on YouTube under our Size Eyes channel. Thank you for joining us and have a wonderful night.
We did the pants are right. Yeah, we didn't break down. We didn't break it.